Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel for the first video of 2022. I did have a pack with me planned, but unfortunately I think the file's corrupted, so I've been trying to edit it all week and I just realised that the reason it wasn't working is because the files were bleh. So I am filming this somewhat spontaneously and I do have quite a few like girly cute gifts this year which I thought would be nice to show you. So. No more rambling, let's get straight into the video. So I might as well mention what I'm wearing, which is a cashmere top from m and and it is the Rosie for Autograph range. I will pop some try-on clips in the video so you can see. This is from my mother-in-law, Jack's mum. She knows that I love cashmere, so she treated me to this top. She also knows that I love Rosie for Autograph, um, but I didn't actually realise that they do clothing. I thought that they just did beauty, and like nightwear and lingerie so I had no idea that Rosie had a clothing range so very very exciting I think it's really nice as well because I don't normally wear sleeves like this because I feel like they cut me off at the biggest part of my arm and I just don't really like how that looks but because it has a slight puff sleeve I feel like it makes my arms look a little bit slimmer which I know having slim arms is not the be all and end all but it's a nice little trick of the eye and it just makes me feel a little bit more confident in it I feel like in Every What I Got For Christmas 2021 video that I have seen so far, everyone has mentioned perfume. This was my main present from, well, not my main present, because she always gives me money as well, but she's always like, oh, I don't just want to give you money, because then you'll have nothing to open. So I usually ask her for one gift, and this year I was a bit cheeky, and I did ask for Dior Poison, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. And it's the only perfume that I really use where I can still smell it a few hours later, and it's not like I'm trying to smell it, I'll just like lift my arm and be like, oh, a waft of beautiful scent. So I borrowed hers for a wedding that I went to um, near my hometown last year, and everyone said how nice it smells, so I said to her, I'd like that for Christmas, please. And I didn't get these for Christmas, but I bought them ready for Christmas, so they were like a Christmas present to myself bought a few Christmas presents to myself technically but these were like the official one <laughs> so I went into Boot Avenue because I knew I was going to be going away um, to stay at my parents for Christmas and normally I just like wander around the house in a dressing gown without anything on underneath but you can't do that when you visit people <laughs> in case of any uh, accidents so I bought some pajamas because I also liked the idea of like being in my nice new pajamas and unwrapping presents in the morning with my family so I got these really really pretty ones from Boo Avenue I do recommend if you buy anything from Boo Avenue you're probably gonna have to size up um, obviously bras and things just don't leave the store without actually trying them on because you never know with bras but with their pajamas certainly size up one or even two sizes their stuff I find does come up really really small but they have some really beautiful um, options these were £40 on the label and then when I got to the counter they were actually 28 so I was very lucky that there was a sale on that I didn't know about but these are just really really pretty I love the little ruffle on them um, I will pop some try on clips on that actually I don't know if you'll be able to see the ruffle in that but they've got this little frill on the sleeves and also on the ankles as well so very girly very pretty and I just thought the colour brought out my eyes quite nicely as well and I am still on a mission to find which colours suit me um, and I think this like icy kind of baby blue I think it suits me and then I got this planner which is something that I asked for this is from Jack and it's from the Inspired Stories which is a stationery company that I discovered last year or maybe towards the end of the year before and I was using their daily planner for my day job and I really love it so I decided to get a diary specifically for like all my social media stuff and all the planning of that so I asked Jack for this weekly planner in this lovely dusky rose colour and um, this is what I got with the planner that I used last year this little um, pen holder that you can just slide onto any hardback notepad so and probably softback as well but really really handy if you have a diary that doesn't come with one of those you can just slide these on and you can use them for multiple diaries and uh, yeah it's just really really pretty I love it I love stationery I've always loved stationery it has all of the things that I really like about my daily one which I showed you in my stylish office essentials video I think that was what it's called I'll um, leave it linked on the screen somewhere it is more of a weekly diary my other one is a day planner and I do prefer that but because Obviously I have to do a lot more on my day job on a daily basis than I do for social media. I can't, I can't fit in as much of the social media stuff in the week. I can obviously at the weekend. I thought it didn't matter therefore to only have a little bit of space for each day. Yeah, and then it's got like lovely little pictures for the beginning of the month and there should be some nice little quotes in here somewhere. Oh, uh, this is from Roald Dahl. I began to realize how important it was to be an enthusiast in life. If you are interested in something, no matter what it is, go at it full speed ahead. 
Embrace it with both arms, hug it, love it, and above all, become passionate about it. Then Jack also gave me a couple of books which I asked for. I'd forgotten all about this one actually. I just saw it when we were in a garden centre one day and said, oh, can I have this please, Jack, for Christmas? Um, so he put it away for me and I completely forgot about it. So it was actually a nice surprise even though I asked for it. So it's called The Self Care Year and it's um, things to do in each season to like really embrace nature and embrace the changing seasons. I mean, I'm not really into nature, but I am very much into cozy vibes and just generally doing things that make you feel happier. It's got very much like hygge, hygge vibes. I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, I really like it. So I read the winter and spring sections uh, last night or the night before and it's just some really nice ideas in here. Um, there's like yoga poses to practice for each season. Um, there's like meditation ideas and things to do in nature and like creative little things to do. Um, and there's lots of lovely pictures in there as well. Even as an adult, you have to have the odd picture book, which I'll come to in a moment. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna leave the summer and autumn sections for a bit nearer the time, just to get me into the spirit. But if you wanted to read the whole thing, I think you could probably do it in a couple of hours. Like I read those winter and spring sections the other night and I think it was like within an hour. So it's a very, very short book and just makes you like feel all warm inside. It's really nice. I also asked Jack for this book by Megan Hess, which is one of her illustrated city guides. So this is New York through a fashion eye. And I just love her style of drawing. It's like, it's like fashion drawing, you know, like when fashion designers start sketching out their ideas for designs. It's that sort of style of illustration. I just think it's so, so pretty and I want to go to New York for our belated, very belated honeymoon at some point. So I thought I could treat this as my really fancy guidebook for some ideas on things to do, places to shop, which is obviously extremely important, and even outfit ideas. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to like, find one of these outfits that she's sketched in here and then recreate it in real life and maybe recreate the picture as like an Instagram photo. But it's just a generally really pretty book anyway and actually it goes perfectly with my living room so it looks really good on my bookcase because my living room is black and white and gold so that works brilliantly and of course you have the iconic yellow NYC cabs there as well. I got a couple of candles as well which I was really excited for because I buy candles for myself and I always buy them for other people as gifts but I don't think I've ever received candles as a gift myself, not that I remember. So I was very excited to receive these. So I got one from m &S, which is from Jack's mum again. She buys everything from m &S. But I did specifically ask her for a candle like this. I said to her, she said, would you like me to get you a candle? And I said, yes please, but can I have one in a neutral colour so it looks nice in the house? Because I've got some lovely smelling candles, but they're all in bright colours and you know me, I don't really do bright colours, so they don't really match. Whereas this, I just love the look of this. It's really calming to look at. I love the neutral tones. It looks like something you would see in a spa. It's the Restore Apothecary range from m and um, It's got geranium, cedarwood, eucalyptus and lavender. And then I also got this candle from my aunt and it's from Dove and it just has that real Dove scent. Like it smells like Dove soap. I think I will light this in the bathroom eventually, but I have some other candles that I'm waiting to like burn out in there. So for the moment, it stays on my dressing table. And then a couple of things from Jack's mum again. She gave me like a little box full of beauty bits from m and but I have used quite a lot of those already. I wish I had kept the, um, the little masks to show you because there was some like under eye masks and like one of those sheet masks as well but I had a little pamper night spontaneously last night so I've used them and um, but here's two things <laughs> that I found that have not yet run out so there is some dry shampoo from Living Proof. Living Proof is a brand I haven't tried before and I've heard they're really good so looking forward to trying that and I love dry shampoo I've not used it for ages and then uh, again Rosie for autograph this is the radiance highlighter I have it on today I don't know how well you can see because stupidly I put powder on afterwards and forgot to avoid the area that I'd highlighted. <laughs> Rosie's um, makeup 
products are just always really really nice they're kind of like in my eyes a cheaper charlotte tilbury and i think they work just as well and finally i have a very exciting present from jack which is something that we've spoken about quite a few times he's been to these like murder mystery nights he says they're really good and i keep saying oh, i would like to do one one day so he got me murder mystery at the theater host your own murder mystery at the theater and um, so i was very excited when i saw it was theater themed because i love the theater and it's almost like a fashion gift you get to dress up and everything for it so i'm going to be treating myself to like a 1920s style dress god knows how i'm going to find one to suit my hourglass figure because 1920s styles are just for skinny people yeah so it's got all these little bits in it so you get your um your name tag which is names like victoria sponge and uh jim nast and daff odile and things like that and then you have i don't know if it's not on the back of that but there's some cards i don't want to get it all out but there's some cards in there somewhere where it's like you have a special character trait so things like you sing every third sentence or something like that but you don't obviously tell anyone what your character trait is and one of you i presume dies at some point and you will have to work out who the killer is and you also serve dinner with it so it's a murder mystery dinner party so you do like a starter i mean and a dessert and then throughout that you're playing the game as well so certain clues will happen after certain courses and things like that so yeah really really fun and um, i think you need about six of you i think it says at least six people including the hosts so i need two couples that are willing to do this with us i think you probably have to be quite drunk to <laughs> to really let go and do it so uh, so yeah at some point we're going to be hosting a murder mystery at the theater at night so that's gonna be really fun i actually have something on the way as well that i bought for myself as another christmas gift to myself and um, but it hasn't arrived yet it has been shipped but it's not here yet but to be honest i think it deserves its own unboxing video anyway so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what that is um, but yeah that's what i got for christmas 2021 so i hope you enjoyed my little christmas haul there i did get a few other things obviously like drinks and chocolates and things but um, they're gone <laughs> we got so much booze and we have so much booze in our booze cupboard that we're just gonna have to have a massive party to get rid of it so if anyone wants to come and help me <laughs> so yeah i've got lots of things like that as well um but these were like the the cute girly things that i thought you would be interested in seeing so i really hope that you enjoyed today's video and i will see you next sunday at 6 p.m bye